TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Don't forget, we are partnered with the Blueprint Mastermind, man. Um, you know, go over there, leave a like and sub, man. Um, I'm going to be doing some breakdowns myself now, along with Slick and along with Mr. West. So that's going to be lit. And don't forget, all my vi old videos that are deleted from here are now on Facebook. And anything I can't post to here, it's going on Rumble, which y'all can only get on desktop, no app. Now, Prince Harry. This is spicy. Spicy. Uh, I have yet to see the ITV interview because obviously I'm in America and I, I don't even see the full interview anyway. I went on Daily Motion, look forward, everything. I have seen the 60-minute interview. Um, it got blocked by YouTube. I'm probably going to put it on Rumble. So please go over on Rumble and make a Rumble account, man, and, and follow me, man. It's the lit one. Um, it'll be there. It's also some other videos there. Um, but now we're going to see... Where was that? Hey, where was that at? Oh, man, did I lose it? No. Oh, here we go. A royal expert breaks down Prince Harry's interview with 60 Minutes and ITV. Now, on 60 Minutes, I agree with everything he said, man. I'm not even going to hold you. I agreed. He did it for his wife, man. Now, biblically speaking, because I know y'all in the UK, y'all Catholic, a lot of y'all. So, I don't know. I don't know, Christian. I don't know. Y'all go by the Bible. The Bible puts your wife first. Right? I don't know. He did everything he did for his wife. His wife was his piece, and a and a and a, what made what what he made it sound like was a crazy headspace that he was in. He found peace in Megan. You know what I'm saying? And I don't I don't knock that. Us as men, we are at war every day, in our mind, in our jobs, uh, um, with other men for women. We're at war every day. He found peace, and he was willing to go. For, to war about his peace. I feel it. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen the ITV one yet, but let's see what they talk about, man. Hi, I'm Jason, and I got cool sculpting on my stomach. So a little background, I met my husband in spin class. Okay, Jason. Prince Harry did not one but two sit-down interviews yesterday ahead of the release of his memoir called Spare, which is expected to drop Tuesday. That's tomorrow. Here to help us unpack. Spare, by the way, already a bestseller. Tag everything we've learned so far, and there's a lot. Okay, Is royal go. commentator, who we love, live from L.A., Kinsey Schofield. Good morning. So good to see you, kids. So good to see you, too. Wow, what a night. What a night. Ooh. Our L.A. bureau is busy this morning <laughs> with Devo and Kinsey. All right, Kinsey, uh, before I throw it to the ITV clip that I thought was what the bombshell of the evening across the pond. All I want to see is the ITV one. Over the weekend, on a scale of 1 to 10, how, how bombshelly was this for you? I mean, it's pretty bad. I never in my life thought that he would actually attack Camilla. I thought that that was just one of the dirty rumors that were circulating. And He attacked Camilla? He don't like her. What you mean? Simple. If I don't like you, I'm going to talk about it. And, and you talk behind my back. I'm, hey, let's talk about it. I, I can't right. believe it happened. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll expand on that here in a couple of seconds, but I want to throw to this, and, and Prince Harry has denied, again, the Oprah interview two years ago, the, okay. the, yes. many things came out of it. The one thing was Megan saying, basically, they're talking about what color my child is going to be after he's born, and overt racism. Like, there wasn't, this, there was no disguise. The only thing that wasn't said was... I'm going to keep it a buck with you. In the black community... We we already be like we already do that, but it is weird to hear another group of people talk about it besides us. Oh yeah, the first thing grandmas be like, oh let me see how the ear, let me see how dark your baby gonna be. That's that's normal in our community. Anyway, was who said the comment? That's right. That's the only thing Megan didn't give us. Yes, or this past weekend on ITV. But that's amongst ourselves, though. 
Not for nobody else. Prince Harry walked that back. Take a look. In the Oprah interview, you accused members of your family of racism. You don't even... Really? Well, of... The British press said that. Right. I... Did, did Meghan ever mention that they were racist? She said there were troubling comments about... Yeah, oh, there, she's there was skin concern color. about his skin colour. Right. Wouldn't you describe that as essentially racist? I wouldn't. No, 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 no. Don't put words in his mouth. Don't put words in bro mouth. That, ne that never came out their mouth. The words I think my family is the R word never came out of their mouth. Did they hint towards it? Yeah. Not having lived within that family. Tom Bradby stopped in his tracks at that quote. Kenzie, the floor is yours. Go ahead. I mean, my God. Not only does she say that they were not given security and a title due to their child's skin color, um, but Harry says silent. What did he, he, he quoted Martin Luther King. He says, like, silence is something. Silence is, betra silence is betrayal. Okay, well, for two years, you've allowed us to think that the royal family are racist, and now you're just saying this. Also, don't forget that they just accepted an, an award from the um, Robert Kennedy Foundation for fighting racism within the royal family. I mean, you had plenty of opportunities to say, oh, nobody's racist within the royal family. What's been the most shocking thing for you? Because it has been. That's not for me or anyone else to say. Nobody knows. Nobody knows the deep down. I know y'all are beloved lovers of the royal family, a lot of y'all, but you know, we don't know what happens behind closed doors. I, let's be real. We don't. R.I.P. the Queen, though. She was a real step. I loved her. R.I.P., but. One after another after another with all of these interviews and the book's not even officially out yet. That's tomorrow. What has stood out the most for you, Kinsey? Well, can I just tell you, I, ha I know everything I've learned about Prince Harry's peen is against my will. And I know this is breakfast television, so I'm going to limit my commentary on that specific subject. But that... Is, that shocks me. But the idea that he's giving away so much of Prince William's information. Prince William went through the same tunnel Diana died through. <laughs> Prince William didn't want <laughs> King Charles to marry Phew. Camilla. You know, he's speaking for his brother, a man that is not in a position to speak for himself or respond. And I think that that's a bit cruel. Kenzie, I, and I know you're going to correct me as you, you justifiably normally do if I get something wrong during this segment because I am wrong a couple times for sure. But I, I cannot remember in modern times someone in the royal family this close to the throne come out in this way, this publicly, this consistently. And First of all, bro got a book he was releasing. This is it's kind of low-key. It sounded a little strategic. Man, I got a book being released. I'm trying to be tops, dog. I'm trying to sell a lot of books. Let me go out here and do a couple of interviews, man, which is common in the American circuit when books and music is dropping. Um, but did we not already know this? We know Prince is like, so for y'all, is it more shocking that it's being confirmed how he feels? Cause we already knew how he feel. We like, we could kind of draw a conclusion. Like we were already assuming, right? But it's shocking to actually hear what he got to say. And like, what are y'all gonna like? What do y'all? What do y'all got to say? Like, like, how do y'all feel, bro? Because like, honestly, like, what are y'all gonna call him a liar? How do we know he's lying though? He's literally giving you his two cents. I'm, I'm kind of playing devil's advocate, but I feel like he's literally giving him, he's giving y'all his everything. Every time he woke up and seen this is what was going on, I was living it. Y'all see what y'all want to be see. like, just like the internet, man. Like y'all only see what what we want y'all to see, and I'm pretty sure it's like that over there as well. Like the royal family only sees what y'all want, what they want y'all to see. And in what way does anyone believe he's invited to the coronation May the sixth for King Charles? I think it's a fait accompli. I don't think Harry and Meghan are going to be anywhere near that event later this year. Do they want to go? Here. Agree or disagree? I, I, I agree that they're not going to show up, but I do think the family will invite them to show yeah. that there is an attempt at reconciliation okay. because Harry yeah. describes that a lot, despite him saying that there hasn't. If the family invites him, I guarantee you 100% he's going to go. I, I know in May, this, that's four or five, that's four months away from now. 
That's almost six months after his book come out, he gone. <laughs> and then that bestseller that's going that's out to yesterday is gonna be back up there in sales again. Strategic man, that man's smart. Man. I mean, his brother saying, "I love you. I want you to be happy." That seems like an attempt at reconciliation. That being said, where do they all go from here? Because there is so much being aired. And I have to say, too, they do say get stuff off your chest that helps you heal. And I also feel we're looking at Harry dealing with a lot of mental health issues. He talks about the fact that he thought his mom, there was like a little bit of glimmer of hope. Princess Diana was alive until he was 22 was 23 Three. so there's okay. some deep-seated stuff where he would go as a child when when the funeral and all the flowers and people came out was happening that he was shaking hands that were filled with wet moist tears and they themselves him and his brother okay. never had the chance to cry in public because they weren't allowed so there's some deep-seated stuff that's happening there whoa, 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 whoa. he didn't say because they weren't allowed it's just he said because he couldn't him himself couldn't bring, could it? The media. Do you think we're just seeing somebody who's really going through it mentally? Absolutely. And, you know, I do think that that's why the family would be so forgiving. If, if, if that's really the tone that... I don't think he's gone through it mentally. I think he's went through it and now he's healing. And I think he wants to speak on it tone you just gave mm -hmm. if other people pick up on that maybe the family's more likely to forgive instead of this vengeance that we're all kind of <laughs> talking about yes Kenzie final question on my end if I if I were advising the royal family from a PR standpoint because right now it's one-way traffic the mm -hmm. documentary on Netflix memoir out tomorrow two major interviews on opposite sides of the Atlantic I would tell King Charles Prince William Camilla Parker Bowles and Kate shoulder to shoulder to sit down with the BBC and give an hour interview because I think Ooh. it's time you, the old school way of fighting this look Prince William was in North America not that long ago the reception was not great the PR he, they're losing the PR all right I'm done here I, I, I think personally I think of course they're in the media they want it to be messy they want the ratings to go through the roof I personally think they should sit down as a family have a mediator present to mediate a conversation between the two sides because <coughs> this is what I heard. This is what Harry say. The only reason he went to the press is because they kept going to the getting leaks and the press kept getting information and it was misconstrued and he had to go clear it up. That's why he coming to the press now. So for him to say go to the BBC and have a one hour sit down, no, just Talk. This is a family matter. You know what I'm saying? Keep that family. And then come all together and give us an interview as an update, man. I don't know, man. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. Hey, let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. This is wild.